on November 5, 2014, in the park 5th of November of the city of Colon, the newly elected president, Juan Carlos Varela Rodriguez, said, more than 10 bidding documents have been uploaded on the Panama Purchase site to start the total tender of Colon. In the next few days, the bidding documents will be uploaded for a new community, which will be called Alto de los Lagos, where more than 5,000 homes will be built and that will allow the total renovation of the city of Colon. He also reported that more than $500 million would be invested in housing projects, drinking water, urban renovation, impact on historic buildings, wastewater treatment, roads, etc. He said that the city would be very similar to the old town of Panama City with, cobbled streets, treated sewage, and above all, with decent housing for the population. The foregoing was in compliance with Objective 3.9, Economic Growth and Public Investment with Equity, of his government plan for the period from 2014 to 2019. Specifically, the point, the restoration of the historic center of Colon to enhance tourism development and other economic activities to promote the historical, cultural, artisanal, and artistic heritage of the people of Colon. Once the government of President Varela has started, the Ministry of Housing, directed by Mario Echelacu, establishes the renovation project of the city of Colon whose objectives published on its web page included, the total renovation of urban infrastructure and the recovery of historic buildings or abandoned sites of national interest. The project included, the recovery of emblematic buildings and structures with great historical value, which are located along the north and south neighborhoods. This with the intention of protecting the estates that speak for themselves about the old colon, such as the Wilcox House and Bamboo Lane. Three days after President Varela's speech, hoping that this valuable monumental complex, with decades of neglect, would be rescued, I toured the historic center and photographed most of the buildings, parks and open spaces listed, in Law No. 47 of August 8, 2002, which declares the old town of the city of Colon as historical monumental complex. Now, 2019, five years after the electoral promise and conclusion of Varela's government, I walk the area again and present 84 comparative photos, 2014 contrasted with 2019, to subjectively assess the good, the bad, and the ugly, due to the abysmal difference between the concepts of, renovation, recovery, rehabilitation, restoration, or repair, the five R's, of historical monuments if we contrast existing laws and national reality. Therefore, this documentary film presents a traffic light in green, the good thing, if a positive execution of any of the five R's is observed. Red, the bad, if it is negative, demolition for example, and Yellow, the ugly, if its previous bad condition did not receive any improvement in these five years, that is, the historic monument is still abandoned. No activated light notes that its past condition, in 2014, did not change in the last five years.
located in front of the Caribbean entrance of the Panama Canal, the city of Colon has played a strategic role in the global exchange since its foundation by the Panama Railroad Company in 1850. Its urban design and architectural works reflect the various stages of its development, from a small but active port city, to a modern metropolitan center with an internationally renowned commercial and logistics services platform. The historic center of Colon, of approximately 250 hectares on Manzanillo Island, stands out for its elongated blocks deployed from north to south, open to the sea wind and defined by an exceptional system of boulevards, avenues, streets, and alleys. Until today, the continuous covered galleries built at the beginning of the 20th century protect pedestrians from rain and tropical sun, while their coastal walks offer graceful views towards an impressive maritime landscape of sea and ships, sky and distant mountains. Thanks to the great variety and quality of its architecture, clearly framed within a very well-structured layout, the historic center of Colon is one of the most impressive and lasting urban complexes in the Caribbean region. It is also an intensely used urban center, where commercial and institutional activities are mixed alongside residential and recreational uses. This exceptional living architecture, in a constant state of flow and saturated with complexity, presents the user and the viewer with a sensory experience of high and unforgettable intensity, forming in the collective memory the image of the city. Despite its success as a center for commercial exchange, the social development of the city of Colon has been restricted by poverty and inequality, civil insecurity and environmental deterioration. Although it has a heritage conservation law, the historic center has suffered the effects of more than 30 years of neglect and abuse, being today in a gradual process of depopulation slum and pollution that threatens its traditional role as administrative, commercial and cultural center of the province. Since its main economic activities, Free Zone, Panama Canal and multimodal ports, have historically taken the form of segregated enclaves of the local economy, Colon presents two contradictory aspects, on one side prosperous and dynamic, on the other, poor and stagnant. Due to the lack of any vision of the territory, the two parts of this dual city correspond to urban interventions, of a greater or lesser scale, as appropriate, provisional and segmented among themselves. Unsustainable by nature, this model puts not only cultural and natural resources at risk, but also the city's own functioning as an instrument of production, and hence, the interests of the city's strongest economic sectors. Achieving the socio-economic revitalization and viability of Colon as a long-term city requires developing an alternative territorial model that promotes greater economic diversification and integration, based on principles of social justice, environmental sustainability, and cultural development. Consolidating the metropolitan area into a constellation of well-articulated economic activity nodes, with a historic center as the main core, will require careful and democratically taken decisions, capable of balancing diverse and sometimes contradictory social and economic interests. In this sense, the conservation, restoration and recovery of the historic center under an appropriate management regime will be perhaps the most determining factor in the development of the city towards the future.